G'day cobbers, welcome back to the bush. Actually my driveway. Now this is part two of a two part series to try and cure some overheating in Kayla's 80 series. So if you haven't seen part one, click the link above. Otherwise this one will make no sense. In this video, we're going to rebuild the thermo clutch for the fan in the front of the 80 series. There's two types. This type, which is just a standard non-adjustable, but we'll be rebuilding the adjustable type. So let's get into it. So I've pinched Matt's hub. Now this is off of one HDT, so the turbo version of this engine. They're all the same though, the hubs, and it's come out of a Sahara. So as soon as we pop this in, uh, Kayla's DX should get a center console fridge, uh, climate control, and air conditioning in the back, which I'm sure the kids would be happy for. So let's rip out these screws. These screws are a bit made of butter, so you have to be careful with them. Make sure you've got a good engagement on it. And this last screw here seems to be stripping out. So I'll go and grab the impact driver and we'll get it out before we completely strip it out. Okay, so this is an impact driver. It's got a number three bit here. They're interchangeable. So just make sure it's a good fit and you preload it slightly from where you want to go. I've actually only got a rubber mallet, but that should do the job. And you just give it a whack on the top and it pushes the bit in and turns it. Realistically, they should be using a, the bolt here as opposed to a screw because these things just strip out. Right now, yeah, so we've got the screw out. Of course, we had to put it underneath there with a piece of wood. Okay, now we just put a screwdriver in there and pry it apart slowly. Be careful because it's full of silicon oil. There we go. Now that's our, of course our rubber o-ring which keeps the silicon oil in. These are our temperature adjustments. So if we need to adjust the temperature, and we'll be checking the temperature that it works on. And this part here is connected to the output flange. So we'll clean it all up and we'll test it. So here's how the viscous hub works. So we've got our reservoir in here and it feeds the various stages. So we've got one, two, three, and four. So as the spring expands, it opens up the various ports here and engages your stages. So as I was saying, one, two, three, four, and that then engages the here, which in turn provides a progressive lockup in between the fan hub, which is attached to the fan, and the flange, which is driven by the engine. And we'll put it in some water and we'll check it out. So we're a little over 85 degrees there, 86.6. That's the temperature of the water bath. And you can see now this is rotated. So if you want to adjust the temperature, you undo these two and you turn it relative to where this spring sits. And this spring sits at the full open position. Now you can see both these ports are open and all four stages here are open. So we'll turn off the gas now. And you'll be able to watch, firstly, these ports start to shut and then the various stages here shut. You can reference it with the temperature. And firstly, you can see our large port here starting to shut over. So it's just below 70 degrees now and you can see the large ports are completely shut. We should see the various stages of ports start shutting up now. Okay, so we're now down to a touch over 43 degrees Celsius. We're sitting at about 42.9 there. And you would have been able to see these stages shut progressively. So we've verified that it's working. So if you need to adjust it, let's say you're in a hot climate and you want it to engage sooner, we can undo these ones and just turn it so it, in, it opens up the ports sooner. And obviously if you're in a cold climate and you want to save a bit of fuel, Again, you can open these up and just change the engagement so it shuts later. So it won't engage as it often, it will save you a bit of fuel because these things take 8 to 10 horsepower to run. Rightio. Right, so we'll give it a final clean up and we'll put the silicon oil in, which we'll show you how to do in a minute, and uh, then we'll get to bolt it bolted in the car. So this is where we have to put some more silicon oil back in. Now it's very thick, it's very viscous oil, it's like treacle or honey, and it's measured in centi strokes. So this is a measurement of 10,000 centi strokes. You can get more viscous or less viscous fluid, but apparently uh, 10,000 is the way to go for these hubs and two of the bottles, so we'll just throw them in. And we'll pour it into the reservoir. Yeah, this could take a minute. 
That stuff is seriously thick. I'm just gonna leave this one upside down for a minute so I can drain all, all of it into the bottom. I'll get the other one out and put the bulk of it in there. So I can get the last of this one out. Well, I'll save you watching me messing around with this and we'll get back to you. All right, so we've drained the last of silicon oil into the reservoir here and we've reinserted, we've taken out this O-ring seal here and we've cleaned it all up and we've reinserted it. So now we can put the flange and drive assembly back on to the bottom half or front half, depends on which way you're looking at it. With that done now, flipping back this way and start reinserting the screws. Now, I'm sure there is a, some sort of torque spec for these screws, and I'm going with about half a grunt. So you don't want to, don't want to strip them out. And that should do fine. Now it's time to pull the old fan out and retrofit this hub into the fan. We've got our rebuild hub here and we're going to swap over the fan from one hub to the other. And don't forget to not mess with the orientation. Otherwise, you might try and blow through your radio as opposed to suck through it. And more started by hand. And we'll just cinch them down with the ugga dugga. Beautiful. Now all we have to do is put it back in the vehicle and test her out. Okay, so it's not quite as warm today as it was the other day, but we've still got the aircon pumping and we're sitting oh, a little bit over 80 kilometres an hour. But the main thing is we've got the temperature stable. We've got a big hill coming up, so uh, we'll head for that hill and we'll have a bit of a look. Happy now, so uh, looks like we fixed it. Our temperature is holding strong. Our aircon's on absolutely flat out and we've been driving up hills. I know it's not a 30 degree day today so that's why I pointed it at a big hill and left it in fifth gear labouring on the wall, poor old 1HZ. It's definitely not overheating now, we've certainly fixed that. So I think it was a combination of the thermostat and the clutch fan itself because uh, just being a Kayla, it was slightly better once we put the thermostat in but it was still, when you on warm days, it was still starting to uh, turn off the aircon and whatnot but, uh, but I think it'll be doing that now. Hey guys, if you like this video, don't forget to give it the old thumbs up, like that. <laughs> and if you didn't, by all means, give it a thumbs down, twice. Thanks guys, we'll see you in the next one. This is how the viscous, so this is how the viscous fan hubs work. So inside here, and sitting down here is the fluid reservoir for the viscous... Jeez, that's my phone now. <laughs> you know, hold that. Um, just pop that down for a sec. I just want to double check that focus. Do you have the focus puller there? I'll put it in my pocket. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I just want to zoom in a touch. Look straight at me because otherwise I can't tell the colours properly. Oh, Poke your tongue out. <laughs> I need an outro. Oh. <laughs>